So a certification could entail taking one or more courses and taking one or more exams, okay? So not every certification will have a course requirement. Step three is only applicable if there are courses requirement for your certification. Keep in mind, courses are not cheap. They are very expensive. So uh, that is something that you have to make sure your budget allows you to do that. So you take the courses. That is your next step if there are course requirement and unfortunately you won't be able to take these courses from elsewhere you have to take these courses from Oracle so step four is prepare for the exam okay one can say I have taken the course now why we have an extra step to prepare for the exam good question so if you're taking a course most likely you are covered for the exam but just in case you need to see if anything else is missing the course topics may not be 100% matching with the topics that will be in the exam, but if it's from Oracle and if Oracle is recommending that particular course for this particular exam, then most likely you're okay. But it's your responsibility just to make sure that you're covered for the exam. And second, you may not have to take any course from Oracle. Then it's your responsibility to decide how to prepare for the exam and that is what we are going to talk next okay so exam preparation these will be the logical steps that you will go through to prepare for the exam even if you have taken the course or if even if the course is not required okay so number one you're gonna look at the exam objectives the topics that you'll be tested on in the exam and I've shown you how to find the topics second you need to identify the study guides or materials or courses that will help you gain the skills that are required as per the list of topics and you can choose to do a self-study or you can choose to take courses whatever you have selected for yourself complete the training either self-study or course training and then you need to take some practice exams okay now study guides or study material as most people call it or courses what are options we have you can you can do your studies through Oracle okay you can take instructor led courses from Oracle they're very expensive they can go up to four or five thousand dollars for a five day course you can do their online training that's affordable uh, you can take yearly membership and take online training uh, but I'm not sure if that will cover you for the exam hundred percent there might be gaps left that you have to cover yourself so instructor-led training is more comprehensive than online recorded training that they have you can take advantage of the health files and the software that you're using um, like Oracle eBusiness Suite for example or you can look at the official documentation for example if you're becoming a database administrator certified professional you can look at Oracle database documents okay but it's very difficult to map the topics from documents to the list of topics that you have already created that are required for the exam but if you're good at it you can do study yourself documentations are the real Bible they have everything in it but the difficulty comes in that an average person is unable to extract from the document whatever is required uh, to be studied for the exam okay so that's why these courses and online training they make it easier but otherwise document has documentation has almost everything in them you can also look outside Oracle for the training guides you can look for at third-party courses instructor-led courses there are schools everywhere in most big cities helping you to achieve Oracle certifications or you can go online training uh, I run a school hands on ERP.com to prepare you for Oracle eBusiness suite uh, or th there are other options available too uh, that you can take or you can purchase certification related books 
and even some books are written by Oracle Press but again just a heads up if you are choosing this books option the burden is on you to make sure nothing is left from the list of topics that needed to be covered okay uh, because there could be some gap left that you are responsible to make sure uh, that they are not there so we talked about taking practice exams so once you are complete with your training then you need to take pra practice exams before you go for the actual exams this is very useful because this will bring you in a f in, in the framework that is required at the time of examination because this will bring you in a framework of those multiple choice question and you will be watching the time how much time you're taking and uh, so that way when you go for the ex actual exam you know the drill okay now practice exams are available through Oracle uh, for a price they give you monthly subscription and yearly subscription and there are tons of websites giving you practice exams and um, you can take advantage of those websites as well that will be slightly cheaper option than uh, Oracle but it's up to you but it's a good idea to take the practice exams on that note this is the website that I sponsored certification practice test dot com this gives you free free practice test for most of the popular certifications so back to Oracle website here if you go under certification and then preparation you can go to practice test and here you will see options for monthly and yearly subscription for the practice test for that particular exam that you're looking for so you may want to buy it from here so you can see all the exams and if you scroll to the right you can see 30 day access and 12 month access so once you're done let's say 70 percent of your training you may want to register for the exam you may also wait till the end usually you get a date within few days if you are in a city where there are tons of exam centers so you may want to find that out first so there are two kind of exam centers Pearson Wu and Oracle training center known as OTC OTC are not many in number they are few but Pearson View is a very uh, is a very big company they have more than 5,000 testing centers in more than 150 countries so most likely you will be able to find a date uh, from them you can go directly to their website Pearson View and you can pay directly to them they are all connected with Oracle Corporation or you may want to buy a voucher from Oracle and go to Pearson website and pay through the voucher and if you are using OTC then you can pay directly to Oracle so let's go back to Oracle's website and let's start from the beginning education.oracle.com let's go to certification and in the search box let's follow the four step process scroll down and let's say step one is database administrator is a job role database is the product area Oracle database is the product group and Oracle 11G is the product and I'm interested in certified professional and scroll down and this is the exam let's say I want to register so click on that exam this will open up a page with exam details so you have all the exam details here exam preparation suggested courses from Oracle exam topics and here you see register for this exam click on that so here you see the three options that we have discussed already register for an exam at Pearson Wu register and pay directly and second option is you purchase an exam voucher from Oracle and then you go to Pearson website and you can pay through the voucher and third option is register at an OTC Oracle Training Center and they may not be available in all the cities but you may check so no matter which option you're using it's pretty much the same you're gonna be sitting in front of a computer hopefully in a quiet environment and you'll be answering multiple choice questions and once you walk out 
you will be given the result immediately. So it doesn't matter which one you choose, just choose the one which is uh, which has the best proximity to your location. So step six is to write the exam and as already mentioned this will be a multiple choice exam most likely uh, you'll be on a computer and once you walk out you'll be given the result immediately a printer printout will be given to you and they'll show you your uh, results and uh, usually 66 percent is the passing score okay so once you have written the exam and hopefully you have passed the exam the next step would be to complete this whole cycle for any remain remaining examination so for certain certifications there might be more than one exam you have to write so you will just write the other exams and if necessary you will take the courses if required or necessary you will take further courses and you will complete all your exams so once you are done with all the required components in that certification e courses and examination then you will go to step 8 step 8 is to submit certification form as I've already mentioned you can take courses later write exam first it doesn't matter from Oracle's perspective Oracle will only give you the certification once you apply for the certification by submitting this form in which you will claim that you have taken these courses and you have written these exams and you have passed these exams then Oracle will give you an official certification so I'm on Oracle's website and this is the last step that you have to complete to apply for the certification. You click on this and you submit the form. 